Hi guys! Since a lot of you have been asking about my skincare routine, I thought of shooting this video today to show um, some of the makeup products and skincare products that I use. We will be shooting some of my Tidely transformations and our call time was really early. So instead of getting a makeup artist and waking up earlier, I thought of doing my own makeup. To start, I already washed my face with Dove. That's all I use. After, I use this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. So since I'm all about sustainability, I don't really use cotton anymore. So what you can do is on your clean hands, you can put some product and just tap it on your skin. So using a toner actually helps your skin to absorb more of the product that you put on after. My skin is a little bit oily, so I don't really use moisturizer, but I find that this product, the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate, really helps with my pigmentation as well. You just put a few drops and just massage into your skin. So, skincare is really important and I use sunscreen every day. So this is my go-to sunscreen. This is by Fresiderm, and it's 50 SPF. So meaning you have to constantly put your sunscreen after 15 minutes. So the reason why I like this is it's very matte and it doesn't get oily. So it's new pa. There. So it's this clear and this matte. So I just put it on. There you can see it's not oily and it's very mattifying. This is a MAC setting spray. Um, the bottle broke so I transferred it into a smaller container. So you just shake it. And since I get very oily in the T-zone, I use this mattifier and it helps me a lot. And let it sip. For my primer, since I need a little bit of like a thicker face today, um, I'm using this MAC Prep and Prime, and it's a mattifier as well. So this is how it looks like. Roll it on like this, and it allows the product to really sit well on your skin. My normal color is this MAC Studio Fix fluid and the shade is NC20 but to darken it a bit I'm going to mix it up with this NC40 shade. Okay? So I'm thinking one pump of each to kind of tone down the whiteness. So I'm using this MAC brush 170 for the foundation. And this is buildable foundation. So what you want to do is just lightly tap it all over your skin and your face. So what you want to do when you're doing this is you really want to even everything out. So this is the MAC Mineralized Concealer in NW20. So they say that this is the perfect shade to kind of counteract the darkness under your eyes. And I just like to use my fingers so that I don't tug at the skin. So I'm going to be using this MAC concealer. It's a pot concealer and it has extra coverage. This is in NC20 and it's really old already. Okay. Okay. So this is how it looks. And you just tap it. Next is my eyes. So to make the eyeshadow last a little bit longer, I use this Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So this is how it looks. And it looks like this. So you just kind of dab your finger into the product and it acts as a base for your eyeshadow. 
So this is my eye palette. This is the Flame Boyant series of MAC. This is how it looks. And today I am going to use Rule as my base on all the lids and then maybe fan the flame as a highlighter. When applying my eye makeup, I try to make sure that you don't tug on the skin so that you're still very gentle on it because the skin on your eye is super sensitive. So I use this liquid eyeliner from Shu Emura in dark brown. But before that, everyone always asks me, this is the number one question that I get asked, what is the mascara that I use? And this is my go-to mascara. This is Maybelline um, Hyper Curl. It's only 199 pesos. You can find it anywhere. It's a drugstore brand, but I've tried so many brands, and this is the one that really makes my eyes pop, and it's waterproof. So... I'll try to curl my lashes first. I can kind of see how my eyes are gonna look. And then I will use a liquid eyeliner. So I like to wing it just a little bit um, to make my eyes open up. So this is how it looks like and then I make it dry a bit and then I curl it again. So I'm going to show you the difference between the eyes with one using several coats of this one and this one without so you can see what a big difference it makes. after one coat. And this is after two coats. So you can see this one is really thicker and it really opens up the eye. And this one is so much thinner. See? And since my eyebrows are really very thick already and bushy, and my eyes are kind of intense, I just use this K Palette um, One Day Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner. And I just like to define the tail end of my eyebrow. I just need to fill in some of the gaps, like here. And the thing about this product is I really like it a lot because it kind of mimics how your um, eyebrows look like and it doesn't look very harsh. Since my eyebrows are darker than my hair, I use this brow gel from MAC and it's in color Red Chestnut. So it just tones it down a little bit and it removes the blackness of my eyebrows so it doesn't look as intense. So these are my eyes and next I'm going to use this MAC blush in Melba. So you want to start here on the corner, blend it like this and then coincide. So I used to make a mistake before and I used to apply blush over here but the girls over at the MAC counter told me that I should do it like this and then down. So next, I'm going to contour my face because it comes out better on cam. So this is the new Aladdin series from MAC. 
It's a powder blush, but I can use it for contouring, and it's called Your Wish Is My Command. You get a contour brush that is kind of angled like this, and very lightly. Okay, so this is a trick that I learned. Instead of contouring it down on a diagonal, you just blend it over here, and then do it horizontally. Okay, so apparently that's how they were trained, and that is the natural contour of the face. So like this. Okay, and then next is you want to get the jawline. And what I used to do before is I used to do it here on the bone, but I learned that you're supposed to do it here. So you blend it a little bit and you get this under. There you go. There's kind of like a better shadow over here. And then lastly, you want to get your temples to give your face like a completely contoured um, look. So again, you tap on it. Okay, next is the nose line. So this is a little bit darker than what I would normally use, but I'm gonna try it out. So very, very lightly. how the nose looks and then this is the hyper real foundation in rose so you can use it as a highlighter and you want to highlight just very lightly here on the bridge of your nose and here on the apples of your cheek and then using this foundation brush I am going to apply my powder. So you just tap it like this, and you just want to um, press it on your face. For my lipstick, I want it to be very natural. So this is Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk as well. And I'm gonna line my lips. As a final step, I use the mattifying setting spray again from MAC just to make sure that it lasts longer throughout the day. This is my happy daytime, no makeup, makeup look when I want to attend events or have a shoot um, that I'm gonna do. And it's actually very easy for me. It isn't very heavy on the eyes. And I think this is a very easy look for a lot of you that you can try out at home.